Here's another division example where I'm taking the trinomial and dividing it by this monomial. Remember how we do that. We distribute this division into every single term. So one at a time, I'm going to take the terms of the trinomial and divide them by negative 4x squared. Let's see if we can do that in our head without having to rewrite the whole problem. So it's 24 divided by negative 4. That's going to give us negative 6, isn't it? And x to the fourth divided by x to the second is x to the second. Now let's go to the next term. Minus 12 divided by minus 4. Well, think of it as a negative divided by a negative. That's a positive. So that becomes plus 12 divided by 4 is 3. And x to the third divided by x to the second is x to the first. Plus 4 divided by minus 4. That's minus 1. Positive 4 divided by negative 4 is positive, excuse me, is negative 1. And x squared divided by x squared cancels to 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So all I have is minus 1 when I perform that division with the last term of the polynomial. So dividing a polynomial by a monomial involves taking each term of the polynomial and dividing it by the monomial that we have here. We distributed that division over those terms. And that produced the quotient that we see here.